Hey guys, Brian George here at Fidelity. And just wanted you to think about something. How many of you real estate agents wake up, cross your fingers, said, I hope my title salesperson calls me today? Because it probably doesn't happen a whole lot, but I'm hoping to bring a lot of value to everybody to start changing that up. And one of the things I want you guys to start thinking about, so good questions. What does the market expect that everyone already does, right? So everybody's got the best national brand, the best customer service, the best teams. And when they're talking about it, listing appointments, you know, that's everybody's doing the same thing, right? So what does the market expect that not everyone does? And what doesn't the market expect that you can do different to shake it up and disrupt it in a new way? So over the next four weeks um, at our MLS meetings, uh, this is what I talked about last week, and we've got some more upcoming information to you. So if you don't happen to go to MLS meetings or um, have missed it, uh, here we go. I'm going to be talking about it. And one of the most important things and so many different people have said it differently. All great ideas get violently oppressed in the beginning, right? So new ideas, okay? Around here, don't just think about what the other fellow agents are doing or what your peers are thinking, but what the consumer is, and especially the out-of-state consumer, what do they want? What kind of marketing stuff are they looking for, real estate agents? Because right now, over the past, oh, I couldn't tell you when, six months, a year, we're getting a lot of people from Arizona up here in signings, Colorado, Texas, California, and especially, you know, the Canadians are starting to sell a little bit more. So here's a couple great little listing strategies. Uh, this comes from my buddy Brian North down in Phoenix. Thanks, Brian. After the first week on their listings, if they don't sell, what they'll do is they'll change that first picture and the first sentence of the description. So... Some people are very visual, some people more emotional and feeling, and by doing that, it seems fresh, it seems kind of new, all right? Another one, this comes from a lady down in Atlanta, Georgia, number one, four years in a row, Rhonda Duffy. She has her sellers um, write a love letter for people coming through her house, so she'll talk about the great neighbors, their favorite walks, the restaurants, the wildlife, all that good stuff. If they have children, they'll have the children do the same thing, and uh, so on. Okay, open houses. Now, I know we get a lot of pushback with open houses here, and I think we've kind of cracked that code with what is working around here. So, exclusive neighbors only. Send a card or letter to these neighbors. A VIP, RSVP only, because neighbors love to be nosy, right? Do it during the week from 4 to 7 or 5 to 8, because here on the weekends, people are in Glacier Park. We're fishing, we're camping, we're golfing. Uh, the last thing we want to do is go through a bunch of open houses on the weekends, right? And the other one is stay in the brain with a minimum of 10 to 12 open house signs. Look like you own that neighborhood. I know in the cities, there are up to 50 signs for listings. So 10 to 12, try it out. Um, and you're basically, what you're doing with your open houses here is you're trying to capture more business, especially from those neighbors that live nearby, okay? Another great idea from Brian North. Um, he used to get little small coffee bags, really good, high quality, blend it all up. He put his own label on there. He'd hand those out. So what do the people see first thing in the morning? They see his, his picture, his company, and all that good stuff. Uh, he'd get calls uh, back saying, hey, can I get another coffee? Sure, send me a referral, you know, that kind of stuff. So uh, hopefully you got a little bit of something with this. Um, think about these questions. Think about what everybody else is doing and what you can do different to shake it up and disrupt it in a good way. Thanks again, Brian George, Fidelity Title.